Madam President, you have met with President Putin many times. You know him better than most. In your experience and what you've seen and history, do you believe he can be stopped? What do you see as the end game here? And is there a path to peace? Well, it's almost impossible at this moment to predict what the path forward will be. Unfortunately, what we've seen is escalation. And I hope that uh, some of the threats to go nuclear will never be realized. And because Putin and everybody has to know that a nuclear war cannot be won and must uh, never be fought. Uh, the path to peace, um, knowing him, he is a very proud person. He was driven by his feeling of humiliation that Russia had been humiliated uh, during the Cold War. His uh, program was to restore Russia's standing in the world and Russia's economic political power, which now he has uh, really jeopardized. He's, uh, Russia has become a junior partner to China. Uh, sanctions are having an effect. They are. Um, it's uh, not true to say that there are not. So he has weakened Russia. He has weakened uh, the Russian military machine. But he's also the kind of person who would never, ever admit defeat. As I said um, just a couple of days ago, I think that he would rather die than admit defeat. So in Ukraine, of course, we cannot, with the rest of the world, cannot accept. And, and here we are united in that unity of purpose, which should be uh, our response to aggression anywhere. Uh, and that is to defend uh, the sovereignty, territorial integrity of Ukraine and its right to choose its own path. So uh, Ukraine cannot uh, concede any of the territories. However, uh, Putin and uh, the current Russian leadership will not just pull away. Mm -hmm. So what I am afraid we are going to see is a continuation of the fighting. The best thing that we can hope for is some kind of a ceasefire and then give time for peace negotiations. But I don't think that he'll, he'll back away from, uh, uh, from his ambitions to take over Ukraine.